welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you my review and opinions on the new holiday collection from Fenty Beauty. So this is the Diamond Bomb 2. This is an all over diamond veil. I do have the original which is so beautiful on the skin. This retails for $38. It's a limited edition diamond dust highlighter for face and body designed to veil all skin tones in pure show stopping holographic pink sparkle. This iridescent 3D shade will leave your face and body veiled in peachy pink crystals for all skin tones. Its jeweled embossed pressed powder formula melts into the skin like butter and becomes a jewel like compact that you'll never want to put down. And then we have this. This is uh, the Liquid Diamond Bomb Glitter Highlighter. It retails for $28. It's a limited edition portable roll-on liquid highlighter loaded with super fine 3D glitter to deliver show-stopping diamond sparkle to your face and body. It's just a little itty bitty bitty thing for $28. It's smaller than my nail polish. It has a roll-on. It has a ball inside there to kind of give the sparkles some shake and roll it on. This feels kind of like something you would get at Claire's. You know what I mean? Like they have a lot of these roll on glitter type products at so Claire's. This is the original Diamond Bomb. This is what it looks like. I've used the heck out of this. I really, really do love this. It's really a pretty, pretty highlighter. And in my personal opinion, you could achieve this with one of these. So as you'll see in this image, I have the old glitter bomb, I have the new glitter bomb, and then I have the liquid. And honestly, you can achieve the exact same thing by using the powder formula as you get from the liquid. So personally, I don't really feel like the liquid one is worth it. I'm just gonna be completely honest with you guys. I feel like it's a total waste of money. Currently I'm testing out a new foundation. I've had it on for several hours because it's later on in the day. I think it's like six o'clock right now. So it's been on for a minute, but I'm gonna go into this highlighter, the new one, and let's apply it on the face. So this is the side with the new. And then this is the side with the old diamond bomb. Okay, so here's my final thoughts on this. I love the original diamond bomb. This one is the one that I reach for when it doesn't matter what highlighter I'm wearing. Let's just say that you have a favorite highlighter, but you sometimes want to bring it to the next level. You go over top of it with something like this and it will just make it that much prettier and that much better. For this new one, I think you need to like that pink holographic highlighter. If you don't love a pink holographic highlighter, I don't really see the need for this one in particular. Um, I feel like this is really pretty, don't get me wrong. I love the way this looks. The, the thing that I like about it is that it's not, it's a very controlled pigment. The level of intensity I have here took three times. So it's, I like how it's not patchy. It's not a patchy formula at all. It melts into the skin quite like the original. It's not the same formula. I will get into that in a second. I promise I'm making my point. But I like how it's controlled. So I like having, I like being able to build something like this up. Because if I didn't have that control, it would just be like I got spit on by a unicorn. You know what I mean? Like it would just be way too much. So I like how this one has control and you can dip your brush into it, apply it on the face, and then go back in, you know, one or two more times. You can kind of build up the level of intensity that you're trying to achieve. So I do really appreciate the formula on this one. I think I prefer the formula on this one. This one is described as a jelly powder formula that's bouncy and cool to the touch. And that's exactly how this one feels. It's cool to the touch, has a jelly type formula, but oh my gosh, is it so pretty on the skin. This one does not have that same formula, but it's a nice formula though. Like I'm not saying that it's not a good formula. It's a good formula, but if you like that, if that's what you like about this one, this one is not that same formula. Like I said, I do feel like you have to be a certain type of person that loves those like pink holographic type of moments. 
uh, to like this, but I think it's a beautiful highlighter. I love Fenty. Like, I love the bronzer. In fact, I would say that bronzer is probably my favorite bronzer I have in my entire collection, and I have a lot of expensive bronzers, too. That one is my favorite. Like, she makes some freaking bomb products. This one is just designed for a particular type of person, and you have to fall into the category of liking that pink holographic moment, but it's a good formula if you do. Now, as far as this, on the other hand, this, uh, not so much. This is itty bitty. Like, this is the size of a nail polish. For $28, I would expect this to be much bigger. I mean, I just feel like for $28, this bottle should have been four times this big. It does have a ball in it, but you have to shake it for a minute to get the ball to move around because there's a lot of glitter in it. Now don't get me wrong, I think the glitter is a pretty shade. It's kind of like an icy kind of silvery shade. I think you could achieve the exact same type of intensity with the original Diamond Bomb highlighter as you get with this. This is extremely overpriced in my personal opinion. There's a lot of brands that bring out little dumb things like that. I mean, it's just kind of what the industry is. They can't always get it right. You know what I mean? Fenty 99.9% .9 of the time gets it right, but this product in particular <laughs> was kind of a hot mask. I love the original. This is definitely something I will be reaching for way more than the new one, but I do think the new one is kind of unique for those special occasions that I do want that pink holographic highlighter, which I don't wear very often. But those are my final thoughts on these two products from the holiday collection. I really hope that she's releasing more. I know that she released the glosses and I cannot wait to get that little set of all of her glosses because my gosh, are her glosses the bomb. Anyway, so that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again for all the love that you guys show me and my channel. It means the world to me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day filled with love and joy. I will see you guys in my next video and I love you all so much. Bye!